God ever wants to be victorious for you. He wants to overcome for you. He wants to save you. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. He wants all of these things for you because he loves you. For God so loved the world. You can fill in your name there. For God so loved, put your name, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, so you get to put your name in there too, whosoever, you can be a whosoever, would believe on him, would not perish, but have everlasting life. That wonderful couple, Caitlin, believed on, on Jesus. She believed on the one that God sent. When people ask Jesus, what does God want us to do? He was very direct with his answer. It's from the Gospel of John. Believe in the one that he sent. When you believe in Jesus, wonderful things can happen to you. Don't believe in your prayer. Don't believe in your faith. That, no. Don't believe in, in how good you are or the bargain you want to make with God. Don't believe in any of that. Believe that the bargain has already been made. The ransom has been paid for your life and your health, your deliverance. It's already a finished work. It's already happened. And when did it happen? It happened 2,000 years ago on a cross. When Jesus announced it's finished, it is finished. There's nothing you can add to it. All you have to do is lean into it, believe it. And when you do, miracles will happen. Now, Terry and I are going to pray for you. Before we pray, we've got some other miracle reports. Here's one from Alabama. 67-year-old Clint lived with lung issues and breathing complications for 30 years. After recovering from COVID-19, Clint also now needed supplemental oxygen. While watching this show, Clint heard Terry say, some of you have chronic respiratory problems. Just lift up your hands, breathe in the breath of heaven, exhale and begin to praise the Lord. You are being healed right now. Then I followed with some kind of long COVID. So that described Clint. He had long-term lung issues, breathing issues. He had long COVID and, and all of that. And so he goes, yes. Clint believed God for complete healing. He called the CBN prayer line a week later, rejoicing he no longer needs the oxygen machine. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. free. Well, this is Claudine, who lives in Durham, North Carolina. She is 100 years young. She suffered um, for 60 years with chronic acid reflux. While watching this program on May 16th this year, she heard you, Gordon, say, you have acid reflux, but there's a whole lot more going on. You don't digest things properly. God is completely giving you a new digestive system. You're going to be able to eat normally. You just felt a wave of peace go over you. Claudine believed God for her healing ever since praying with you that day. Claudine has not experienced any acid reflux symptoms. That's a miracle. God is good, isn't he? And when you trust in his goodness, you trust in his love, faith works through love. Let him love you. For God so loved you that he gave Jesus for you, that you could be a whosoever believes in him. These things are all for you. And when you understand the greatness of his power, the greatness of his love towards us who believe, when you understand these things, then faith gets to be really easy. You don't have to drum it up. You just have to look at the facts. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He did that for you. He did it all for you. Just walk into it. You don't have to get cleaned up. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be anything other than you. And when you realize he came for you, well, then it gets real easy. You just walk into it. Let's receive it right now. Let's walk into it right now. Let's believe God right now and let him do what he's really good at. He's really good at miracles. Let's pray. Lord, we come to you. We come to you believing we come believing in your love, believing in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, 
believing in the anointing that you want to give all your children. Lord God Almighty, anoint us today. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, with the breath of life. Cleanse us from all our iniquities. Heal us of all our diseases. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. There's someone you're suffering with chronic um, bronchitis, uh, and it's a particular problem. It's like this um, uh, real pain in your right lung, in the upper part of the lung, the searing pain every time you breathe. God is healing you right now. He's able to get rid of all chronic infection now in the name of Jesus. Just receive it now. There's someone else who have a chronic staph infection. I believe it's MRSA, and God is healing you of that. He's able to cleanse all of that out of your body now. May it be gone from you and never return. Terry? Now, there's someone else. You have a very chronic, um, <laughs> it's a skin infection. You're actually, it's an allergic reaction. I mean, you can hardly go out of your house. It's everywhere. It itches, it's raised, it's red, but when you itch it, it opens up and bleeds. It's, it, it really controls your life. I think you're allergic to cotton. God is touching you right now. Your body from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes be healed in Jesus' name. Uh, there's someone you have a, a problem with your left eye. It's like a detached retina, but there's also just a, an infection throughout it that is just really inflamed. God's healing you, restoring your eyesight, restoring your eye now in Jesus' name. Amen. If you've been healed, let us know. Let us share in your good report, 1-800-700-7000.